Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're finally getting some Porsche stuff done. Getting parts for this car has been an absolute mission. That's for another video, so don't look at that just yet. Fender right over here, we have the side skirt. We have a bunch of other things for this car that's kind of just chilling like a villain and a bunch more parts coming in. If I literally show you right over here, all those boxes are for the poor. Crazy stuff coming in for the Porsche, a bunch of modifications. We even have a set of wheels coming in as well that's gonna look absolutely amazing from Keys Motorsports. It looks literally so, so, so sick. I cannot wait. It is literally like the dream set of wheels I would want um, on my Porsche and I just decided to bite the bullet because honestly, guys, this build is something I really, really, really wanna enjoy. And every time I get in this car, it feels super, super, super nice. I don't know if you guys have ever sat in a, just honestly, like an entry level uh, Porsche, like a Cayman or a Cayman S. This is just a Cayman S, guys. It's nothing crazy, but when you get inside of this car, and I'll, I'll show you guys it right next to the one series. It is half the size of the one series in terms of height. And at the same time, when you get inside of it, it's smaller than a one series. It is literally a super tiny car that sounds so, so, so good. And I'm sure it's gonna drive so, so, so well. So I'm super excited to get this thing on the road. Um, so what we got here today for today's video, we're gonna be installing the fender on the car. It's already paint match and the side skirt onto the car that's already paint match and uh, potentially the headlights and everything else on the side to try to get everything lined up as much as possible other than the front bumper. The front bumper, we did get a upgraded bumper. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, I don't wanna show the perfect angle just yet because that's gonna be a whole separate video. There's literally a million pieces that comes with this front bumper that's gonna require us to pretty much change the whole front end of this car from air ducts to plastics to shields to everything, even bumper grills and all that stuff. There's so many things that are associated with the kit of this bumper. So that's a whole nother video in itself. In today's video though, we did get a dashboard for my car because as you guys know, the airbag did deploy on the dashboard. So I got a new dashboard that doesn't have the chrono gauge cutout, but I went ahead and ordered a chrono gauge, a full kit um, from this company located, I believe in LA. So I'll go ahead and have all the information linked down below, but they're the ones that sell chrono gauges with the bracket, the harness, everything. And they also have instructions on how to retrofit it to your 981 if it never even came with a chrono gauge. I mean, if it came with a chrono gauge, you can go ahead and buy their chrono gauge and you can pretty much swap it out to any color you want, different themes and all that kind of good stuff as well. But if it doesn't come with it, they still offer the kit to be able to retrofit it in your 981. Now you can actually do this without actually removing the dashboard. It's probably a whole lot easier to to do without removing the dashboard. But for us, because we're removing the dashboard to replace it, we might as well do it before we actually get it installed because it does make a mess. So we'll do it outside the car and then swap out the dashboards and we're gonna have a chrono gauge upgrade that's gonna be super sick. And at the same time, replacing our dashboard to get that airbag repaired and that airbag light off the dash. So that being said, let me go ahead and get all the parts out of here. And let's just start reassembling this Porsche because uh, I'm super excited for this. Let's go ahead, again, knock out the body panel. Finally guys, moment of truth. Is the Fender gonna line up the way I want it to be? So guys, some good news and some bad news. The good news is the Fender's on there and the fitment is absolutely amazing. So I'm super happy with that. As you guys can see right over here, side skirts on there as well. The car is really coming together. All the suspension is fixed as well. All the coolers are on there. So we literally just need the headlight to get installed. But the issue is, is that there was actually a bracket here before it actually went to the paint shop and now the bracket's gone. I need that bracket to get on the headlight and I really hope we can actually get that bracket. Just because if we don't have that bracket, it's gonna be another month behind for actually putting on the headlight which means it's just another month behind on getting this build complete. In the meantime, we do have an engine order. We need to get packed this beautiful F10 M5 engine. So this thing's gonna get packed up pretty here uh, pretty soon, actually. Jonathan's gonna be Sir. packing her up. Uh, not even your typical, you know, packing, but we got a beautiful pallet, crate. This thing's gonna be boxed up beautifully. You know, make sure our customers are taken care of. This car, I'm actually gonna move it up over here, pull out this dashboard, because this dashboard does, it is completely blown. I don't know if you guys can see it right behind this cracked glass. I pretty much just cut out the airbag, but the dashboard needs to be replaced, and we're gonna be doing the chrono gauge retrofit. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and pull her up there and uh, start working on that. Slowly, 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 good. 
So looking right over here, guys, we have the dashboard. This is our replacement dashboard. Honestly, it's nothing fancy. I didn't want to go with the GT4 leather dashboard, uh, but they're literally three times the cost of this one, and they're not actually including the airbag. This airbag, I cannot find anywhere for sale, so I had to find a dashboard that had the airbag with it, and every GT4 dashboard that was either out there was damaged and didn't include it regardless, or was good condition but didn't have it. That airbag, I only found one other person selling it outside of eBay for over $1,000. I got this whole dashboard for 500 bucks with the airbag so i figured that's just a good play but nonetheless i do want to add some upgrades to it so we went ahead and got this beautiful chrono gauge right over here again i'll have the company link down below which is where i got this bad boy from they offer the retrofit kit as you guys can see right there with the bracket and any kind of gauge you guys want they have a bunch of custom ones on their website which is pretty sick and i went and opted for the yellow because you guys will see my steering wheel you guys will see the seat belts you guys will see the gt4 door cards that i got and uh, the custom things we're gonna do to that too as well. So this whole interior is gonna look super, super, super clean. And the first yellow accent we're gonna go with is this beautiful chrono gauge. So this right here is actually gonna sit like right. So, so this is something like that. I still have to figure out how I'm gonna cut this, but long story short, that's how it's gonna sit. Should look pretty dope. And we're gonna have to do some cutting, some fabrication. But long story short, before actually doing that, I do wanna remove the dashboard. So we do have a bunch of work to do on that. We also have two neat airbags. So once we actually reassemble all that, we're gonna fix the two airbag faults. That's actually three airbag faults while upgrading the car itself. So that's gonna be pretty cool. So I didn't really see much videos on how to do this install. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just show you guys how to remove absolutely everything from the steering wheel, the uh, clock spring, uh, the cluster, center console, navigation, everything, absolutely everything. So good news, while I started working on that, I actually found this in the passenger seat, uh, well, the passenger floor. So I had, honestly did not even check there since I got the car back from the paint shop. So that's everything I actually need to put on the headlight. So let's go ahead and slap that on because I really want both headlights to be on the car. And just like that, guys, we have both headlights on the car, both fenders, both side skirts. This thing is really coming together. Just these are literally the front bumper. So we'll get to that, obviously, later, because, again, the whole retrofit there. We are dealing with the interior for now. So everything's kind of popping off pretty easy. For some reason, the steering wheel does not want to go up and down. You guys already know the trunk doesn't want to open. So there's some other things that are just kind of getting in the way. But the next mission is to get this airbag out, get the steering wheel out. We're actually not putting back in because we're also putting a retrofit there and then just removing a bunch of other things. So, again, I'm going to go ahead and time lapse it, but kind of go a little bit slow so you guys can see what I'm doing. Doing. Huh. That was easy. Four screws for the uh, cluster. There's two in the top, two in the bottom. This cluster, guys, by the way, be very careful with it. I think it's like $1,500. So I'm being very careful, let me tell y'all. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing a Porsche. It's definitely a lot different than a BMW, but the connectors actually are identical to BMW. So that is pretty nice. Guys, I'm scared to remove everything on this car. I don't want to break anything. I just realized, guys, that this little air vent here actually has a speaker on the top of it. So there's actually a speaker right here, and the bottom section is an air vent. This is pretty cool, but I can imagine how expensive it is if you break it. So thankfully, it doesn't break that easy. All you have to literally do is just pry upwards, not towards you, upwards, and just kind of keep tugging upwards. So that's kind of, as you guys can see, the, the way the clips are on, you just got to go up. So guys, just giving you a little update. Um, so yeah, I got the grills out. Uh, I got these out. I even got the grill on the top of the dashboard out. There's one connector that holds the grill on there. Uh, and then there's the actual speaker. So I still need to pull the speaker out and then disconnect that. Uh, on this side, we do have to remove the dashboard. Um, and then I'm sure we have to remove this cup holder assembly. And then uh, I believe you have to also remove this bracket here that kind of connects the dashboard to the center console. So to remove this bracket, get it out. Uh, and then this center console can also stay in here. So that's super nice. Uh, again, what I'm doing right now is not what's necessary to install the chrono gauge. Uh, I'm just, I have to replace my dashboard and I figured while it's out, you know, we're gonna install the chrono gauge on the new one outside the car. I think it's gonna be a lot easier that way. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'll show you guys pretty much the chrono gauge install, you know, on the other dash outside, but you pretty much do it when the car is in, no problem, easy peasy. I think the only things you really have to remove is the stuff right over here. So super easy for the chrono gauge, but uh, for me, again, replace the dashboard and install the chrono gauge.
Now, I'd be lying to you guys if I told you guys I was not nervous. Uh, I literally have to cut into my brand new dashboard, the one with the good airbag, and that looks absolutely amazing. With no damage, I'm gonna have to cut literally right into the center of it to get the chrono gauge fitted on there. Um, obviously, I really, really, really want to get this thing done. Honestly, if I found a dashboard with the chrono gauge cut out already, I obviously would have spent a little bit extra to get that, but there's nothing for a reasonable price. So I'm just gonna have to send it, and I'm just gonna have to figure out where this is considered normal because it's supposed to be like right here right here right here like <laughs> this is gonna be super stressful i'm not gonna lie to you guys After breaking a bracket on my center console, which unfortunately is gonna run us another $75, but fortunately there is one out there. We finally got the chrono gauge in there. That's looking so, so, so good. So I'm super happy about that. Unfortunately, I did get a little bit of nicks on there because I was getting a little bit impatient um, when I was doing some cutting, but honestly, that's not that big of a deal. Thankfully, mostly everything got covered up. And my biggest fear is whether or not it was gonna get centered. It is absolutely centered, so it looks super good. Um, and uh, it is flush. So the way you have to cut it is honestly, you have to make some kind of outline. So I went ahead and just kind of made an outline with paper and then I kind of put that on the dashboard, centered that up, used a marker to kind of just mark on there uh, where I need to cut and then just kind of dremeled and uh, you know, multi-tooled it. But long story short, if you're not really comfortable using tools like that to cut into your expensive dashboard, um, I highly recommend you don't and take this to a professional. People that are used to doing this kind of stuff, people are used to actually making templates and stuff. Um, I kind of just winged it and I got so, so, so lucky because at some points I was looking at it and I was like, I probably messed up. So uh, long story short, that looks fantastic. I am super happy with that. That's gonna be a functioning chrono gauge um, with this harness, thanks to the company. Again, I have a link down below. They sell a bunch of different Porsche parts and they make custom harnesses for absolutely everything. Um, so yeah, super excited about that. Uh, but without further ado, at this point, we can go ahead and reinstall the dashboard and just start reconnecting everything and then install this bad boy right here. All right, let's see how hard it is to actually get this dashboard back in. Gauge is looking super, super, super nice. I do notice that it's popping up just a little bit on the bottom here, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, so maybe it needs a little bit of dremeling, uh, but that's not that big of a deal, honestly. For now, I am super happy with that. I just wanna make sure it works and everything's gravy in the Navy. Um, now in terms of dash, it got to sit in pretty easily. The hardest part was this bracket with the dash. This bracket did not wanna sit in the car um, without, without actually removing this center console. Honestly, guys, I broke the piece that goes right over here which is that thing right over there that carries this guy. Um, I mean, people say don't remove the center console to get the dash out uh, based off of the forums. I'm thinking if you can remove the center console, your life will be so much easier. You won't break anything. Um, I did find this, but I only found one guy on eBay selling it. Um, so I got super lucky on that. It was $100, unfortunately. So it was a $100 mistake right there. Um, but that's not that big of a deal. And uh, everything is kind of chilling here now. So anyways, this bracket, I separated it from the dashboard. There's two screws that kind of keep it together. And uh, that's how I was able to get the job done. But um, long story short, now the dashboard's in. Time to just reconnect a bunch of stuff. So uh, I'm going to get back to you guys when I get a little more stuff put together. But yeah, I just got to remember where all the wires kind of went. I routed these two back where they were. That one up there. Uh, this one over here for the speaker. There's another one over there for the speaker. Uh, there's one over here for the vent on each side. So don't forget those. And then the, the knee airbags and then this i believe all this goes to the clock spring yes all of this goes to the clock spring so that's not too difficult and then all of this i don't know We'll have to go back to our photos. And some good news, guys. About a few hours later, this pile is officially a lot smaller. And the interior is fine looking so much better. As you guys see at the dashboard, there's no more indentation. The airbag's finally connected. We actually got both new airbags connected as well. We have the chrono gauge chilling like a villain right there. We have the cluster in. Um, the clock spring, I haven't put it in. The steering wheel, I haven't put it in. Mainly because the clock spring is broken. So I had to order one of those. Um, I had to wait till I pulled it out to get a part number. So I ordered that part now. And it's going to take about a week to get here. So uh, when that comes in, I also have a 
steering wheel upgrade, which I'll be slapping in this car as well. That's going to be matching this beautiful baby. So that is coming soon. Uh, but in the meantime, we do need to get the chrono gauge to work. So we can get this thing working uh, without a doubt and get all this fully assembled um, and the whole center console fully assembled. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and put the last couple of screws down there uh, so I don't forget about that. And then just start the wiring. I'll show you guys how we get that done. So guys, uh, here is the harness that it comes with. It looks honestly really easy to install. You literally just plug this into the back of that and then you piggyback down on the radio and you're done. So uh, yeah, in terms of wiring, this thing is a super easy install. So let's go ahead and just connect that to the back of that and uh, get this thing running. So guys, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the gauge is definitely working. It looks so, so, so good. So I believe you can actually change all the settings of that through here, but that is officially working. It is clicking. It looks like it has some LED lights in there as well, and it has the time in the center. That looks so, so, so good. So super happy that actually worked out. I'm gonna go ahead and actually remove, oh, I just need to put this in park now. Now I can remove my key, finally but it's still going. That's pretty awesome. I think once it sleeps, it will stop, but that is just a super classy touch uh, for a Porsche. And I feel like every Porsche should have one. So uh, yeah, we added that. And guys, we are at the end of the video. I'm actually at my place and I'm back in my apartment. And uh, long story short, the chrono gauge is looking mighty fine. Everything's working as it should. Um, if I have to give any tips on doing a job like this is honestly, take your time uh, cutting out the dashboard. I was honestly in a rush and I have these two little imperfections that's really bugging me. And now I'm looking for a G GT4 dashboard um, that already has a chrono gauge cut out. Uh, honestly, the, I just wish there was a template you could put on there and you know how to nail it, but you can never nail something like that because it's a custom job. Uh, so that being said, um, in terms of what they offer you at Porsche Master, the parts quality is amazing. It functions the way it should. Um, it comes with everything. So you're pretty much good to go. It's just the cutting. I'm not a professional. I recommend if you're not a professional to send it off to a professional or just get the dashboard that has the chrono gauge cut out on it and it makes your life a whole lot easier. Um, it's, it's seriously just plug and play and uh, no coding or anything like that is required. But anyways, that's going to have to conclude the video. Um, nothing honestly too fancy there. I'm just happy that that install is officially done and uh, hopefully some more Porsche content coming soon. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. But without further ado, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.